Hi, I'm Alan Wilson. I'm professor in the marketing department here at the Business School. And I'm going to be talking you, to you today uh, with regard to social media and really how social media uh, has changed the nature of the relationship that many companies have with the customers that are out there. So we're going to talk a little bit about uh, uh, what social media is and then we'll move on to talking a little bit about how social media uh, involves the relationship between customers and the organisations. So we'll start a little bit with saying something about what is social media. Social media is, is really a way of users um, linking with each other and linking with organisations. And so what it is, is a form of user-generated content and that's what makes a difference from other types of media is that most of the content is generated by the users or the customers or the individuals themselves rather than the organisation. And this has come about as a result of changes in the way that people have thought about participation, uh, openness, being willing to actually talk to others in their community, not only their local community, but now being willing to talk to a wider audience uh, and connect with people on the internet over a, a wide area talking about a whole variety of things as I'm sure you're doing on Facebook, Twitter and a whole range of other uh, social media channels. So what we have now is far more participation. We've got most of the content being generated from users rather than the organisation themselves. We've seen at the same time a, a, a sort of shift in people's attitudes to what they're keeping private and what they're sharing. We're finding that people are being more willing to actually share information about themselves uh, and to put themselves forward with their own views and comments about companies, charities, organisations that they're actually involved in. And people are more willing to reveal themselves, say more about themselves, uh, almost develop their own brand about themselves online, um, giving an impression of what they, they are, what they are doing, uh, what brands and what products they associate with and uh, what types of things they like to do. And we're also seeing them being willing to criticise uh, organisations, say positive and negative things about organisations that they maybe didn't have that opportunity to do in the past. Yes, they may complain about organisations in the past and send complaints to companies, but now they're more willing to go online and say positive and negative things about organisations. So if you just look at what people are sharing, and this is what I'm saying about sharing uh, more details about themselves than possibly they were ever doing before over a wider community, you and many others that uh, have come before you are teenagers either at school or here now at university. This study shows that a large proportion of them share their names with other people on the community. They share photos and friends' photos, so when you come back from holidays, I'm sure you, you share your photos with your friends very quickly as to where you've been on holiday. We're seeing a large proportion there giving their location, seeing where they are located uh, in the world. And some may actually be putting on audio, video files, links to their blogs and developing blogs of their own. And quite worryingly, some are also giving their email addresses. And as you'll see there, we also have 3% of people also potentially putting their phone numbers as well on their uh, Facebook pages or whatever. I've got major concerns about uh, people doing that with regard to email addresses and phone numbers, but it is demonstrating that people are more willing to share more about themselves, talk about what they're actually doing, and share it with a whole range of people out there on the internet. And by social media, what I'm meaning it's a whole range of things. So it's not just Facebook, it's not just Twitter. It is things like answer sites such as Yahoo, Wiki Answers, etc. It is blogging such as a whole range of, of blogging sites such as Google Blog and others. Uh, it's media sharing, putting your photographs up on Flickr, putting videos up on YouTube, whether you're tweeting on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Foursquare, all of these sort of online social networks linking people together, as well as some of these review sites such as TripAdvisor, 
uh, where people talk about the hotels and the other places they visited, bookmarking specific websites, such as using Delicious for that, and then wikis such as Wikipedia, where people are able to generate information and definitions for a whole range of products uh, and uh, about people, etc. Now, I haven't the time within this particular presentation to go through all of these in detail. So all I'm saying is I am pretty sure you're pretty well aware of many of these. If you're not aware of those that you actually see there, it might be worthwhile actually after this particular lecture actually looking at some of these sites just to get a feel of the type of things that they actually do. Uh, but social media, therefore, is wider than just Facebook. But it is a way of users generating content across all of these different sites that happen to be there. So what does all that mean for organizations? Well, it has a number of key impacts. Uh, social media enables potential customers to talk to one another. So customers can start talking about products they've purchased, services they've purchased, hotels they've stayed in with others and give them recommendations based on their experiences. And we'll say a little bit more about that in a second. It also enables companies to actually talk to potential customers. So to communicate and interact with potential companies. So there is the opportunity through social media for companies to start a conversation with customers. And it also, in terms of the third area, social media enables customers to actually talk to customers, uh, customers to talk to companies. So it allows customers to come back and actually feed information, their ideas, etc., to companies. Now, what I'd like to do for the, the rest of this presentation is take each of these in turn and better explain how they impact on organizations and what they potentially mean for organizations. So starting with the first one, looking at social media enabling potential customers to talk to each other. So here we have customer to customer. The importance of this to an organization is that now customers can now make their voice heard far beyond their local community, their family, their friends, etc. So if people have good or bad experiences with an organization, they can actually feed that information to a wider group through the internet than ever was the case before, when they would possibly only have come home, told a few of their friends, told their family that they had that bad experience. They can now go online and provide information about how bad that hotel was that they stayed in to a very large audience on the internet, which causes problems and challenges for organizations. We just explore what that means, is if you look at some research that was done by uh, Jupiter Research, a market research company, online shoppers, people buying things from organizations such as Amazon, whether it's books or whether it's electronic goods or whatever, about three quarters of them read online reviews before they actually make a decision about purchase. So for a company, it's quite critical that the reviews are positive because that will have an impact potentially on what products they can sell and what products they can't sell. 40% of all social networkers said they use social networking sites to learn more about products. So they're not just looking at the website for that particular product or that particular service, but they are actually going to their friends on other Facebook sites or they're going out to review sites and asking people, what do you think of this particular product or this particular service? And should they buy this brand of mobile phone? Should they brand, buy this brand of camera or whatever? simply on other people's experiences. And to some extent, a large proportion, here we're talking about 30%, but it's still quite a large proportion, trust the opinions of these people who are out there on the internet, frequently people who they may never have met before, more than they will trust the website or an advert actually coming from a company. So before they make that purchase of that book or that uh, electronic item, they will probably listen more to people they don't know online and take their judgment into account when they're making that purchase. So impact of online reviews is quite important because it has an impact on awareness. 
and persuasive effect, particularly for certainly smaller brands and lesser well-known brands than possibly very well-known brands where uh, people will already have some opinions about them. But if you want to be a, a boutique hotel competing with Hilton or Holiday Inn or whoever, it's quite useful to have people out there uh, reviewing you and giving very positive comments on TripAdvisor that moves you ahead of these big brands on these particular sites. And it may also be the same for other niche or, or small market products. You can get your name out there through some of the social media channels far easier than ever it was the case with advertising or sponsorship, which requires large amounts of money to pay for advertising and television or whatever else. Just to give you an indication of that, this is a, a piece of research we were carrying out on the hotel sector to look at how people actually make decisions about which hotels they actually stay in. Yes, obviously the hotel's website does have an impact. Three quarters of the people we spoke to said they did go and check the website of the hotel. But interestingly, whether it's friends' comments, whether it's reviews on online consumer travel forums, or whether it's reviews on specific blogs, frequently became more important than the name of the hotel brand itself. So these reviews, these comments from other people were having more impact than all of that money and all of that advertising that was going into promoting some of these brands that are out there, which does suggest to organizations that they do have to play, pay close attention to what is actually being said about them out in this social media forum as such, because you'll see that can have such a major impact on people choosing things like hotels, electronic items, etc. cetera. 